What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is going to be on the Epson LS800. As you guys may have seen on the channel, I have transformed what used to be a billiards table room, a pool table room, into my family-friendly, awesome home theater slash workshop recording space for you guys to review and check out new product. So today I'm gonna be doing a 30 day review on the brand new Epson LS800. This thing has caught big traction in the market and now is the number two best selling ultra short throw in the entire country right underneath the Samsung LSP9 which is almost double the price. So there's a lot of different things that I wanted to really highlight and tell you guys about this unit, give you an honest review after watching a bunch of different content in this space for a full 30 days. Now, if you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, go back and check it out. I wired this entire room, I retro wired it myself into a 5.2.6 and I have the upgrade path wired for a 7.4.6 Dolby Atmos surround sound system featuring all Focal, which you guys know Focal is one of my favorite manufacturers. I went with the 300 series all the way around, which features their flax woofers and the inverted aluminum magnesium dome tweeters, which just gives you an incredible sound performance for the money. But this video is gonna be specifically about the LS800 as well as the Silverflex 100 20 inch screen. So I'm gonna get into some of the details after the intro. Let's go! All right, welcome back Dream Media family. So before we get into this video, I do wanna point out that we are your nationwide go-to supplier for everything home theater related. A lot of people don't realize when we make these videos that we're not just influencers, but we are a home theater store. We have the best brands at the best prices and would love the opportunity to earn your business. So head over to shopdreammedia.com today and show your support. All right guys, let's get into this video. So. Let's talk about the LS800. What is this unit specifically? Well, let's break it down. So we have two different projectors to choose from today in 2023. We have standard overhead projectors that fire from the back of the rim onto a screen. And then we have ultra short throw projectors. There's some other variants too, but these are our most popular right now in 2023. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Ultra short throw has really taken off the last couple years because it gives you the ability to get a massive image with very little work. I mean, you don't even have to go as far as I did and purchase the Salamander Designs Ultra Short Throw Cabinet. Although this Chicago finish is a beautiful unit and I'll get into some of the reasons you may want to consider getting a cabinet in the future. But you could just purchase the Epson LS800, which has a retail price of $3,500, which is very affordable in comparison to the competitors. And then you could broadcast it either onto your wall or here at Dream Media, we recommend purchasing the companion screen. We have the Epson Silverflex screen, which is an ambient light rejecting screen. ALR, if you're looking up these acronyms, as well as it is ultra short throw. So it's specifically designed for spaces like this where you have a lot of light in the room, but you still wanna get a beautiful, stunning image. Now let's talk about the details of this unit. So the Epson LS800 is a laser projector, meaning you don't have to worry about bulbs or anything like that. And in 2023, a lot of the projectors that are out on the market are now all going towards laser. Now this does also feature their 3LCD technology, which is the same technology that they use in their overhead front projection models like the Epson LS12000 or the Epson LS11000. These are really good units. And previously, before the Epson LS12000 model came out, we sold like hotcakes. The previous generation, which also featured their 3LCD technology, 
technology, the Epson 6050, which has now been discontinued. It is a bulb projector, but that thing was wicked and really showed off how vibrant and bright the Epson can be. Now, all of these Epson models that we're discussing right now with their 3LCD technology is utilizing 4K E-Shift. So it's not native 4K, it's important to note that. A lot of people are under that understanding at this price point that you can't get native 4K, but the big difference between a E-Shift 4K projector and a projector that's native is you're gonna get denser pixel population. So you're actually broadcasting straight out of the lens the full native 4K signal, which you're gonna get on the more premium models that we have to offer here at Dream Media, like the JVC projector projectors which have been winning every single shootout and every single competition in 2022 and 2023. We're proud to offer those but they're very expensive. They're for dedicated home theater and unless you get up into their higher lumen projectors they're not super bright. So like let's talk about that a little bit. With the Epson LS800 you're getting 3,000 lumen output guys. That is bright. That is comparable to the JVC RS4100 lumen output, which is a $25,000 projector. So it's able to produce a super bright, super vibrant image with that 3LCD technology, the laser, and then it's doing E-Shift, which is basically flashing the pixels four times at a rate so fast that you can't really notice. So you get a very good image, much better than 1080p. And realistically, for the average guy, you don't have any 8k sources anyways so 8k is it really an attainable thing unless you get into high-end home theater another thing that i really like about this unit it has extremely low input lag for all my gamers out there Okay, so that's kind of an overview of the features and some of the technology that's packed into the unit. Okay, next, let's talk about the installation. Guys, installation on ultra short throw projectors is an absolute breeze. I mean, setting this thing up was stupid easy. I mean, literally all you have to do is look at the user guide. It says how many inches off the wall you need the back of the projector to be from the wall dependent or the screen, depending if you're doing the wall projection or the screen. And then you make sure that the unit's level, you turn it on, go to the picture setup screen where you do the alignment and installation, and you will end up as long as it's centered and it's in line with the wall, the same distance off from the left to the right. If everything's square and everything's level, you're gonna be pretty much aligned right away. And I like that if you are a little bit off, they have this feature where you can grab the edges of the picture and actually drag it out to the edges if you're just a little bit off. Now, keep in mind that does warp your image. So you might get like a little bit out of focus, say in the corners, if you do that to an extreme measure. So I would recommend getting it leveled as well as measure and make sure that it's square with the wall so that you don't have to manipulate those edges as much. But if you do, it's not the end of the world. You can do it really quick and really easily get the whole thing set up. There's a bunch of built-in presets that come out of the box with beautiful, stunning picture settings. And again, the price, guys, we're coming in at $3,500. Whenever you're looking at the competitor, the number one right now, the LSP9 from Samsung, yeah, that's an amazing unit and we sell it as well, but it's, $6,500 retail. Obviously, pricing will change over the months and we guarantee the lowest price across all authorized resellers, so don't hold me to these prices. They may fluctuate. But you take that and you combine it with a good screen that has ambient light rejecting properties as well as ultra short throw properties and you just get a beautiful TV-like image. I've watched movies, I've watched TV shows, I've watched kids uh, movies from Disney and things like that and everything just really popped off the screen and it even handled low light situations. Like we watched the full series of The Last of Us in here and was really impressed with not only the audio but the video performance of this projector at the price point. Obviously, we always have better options available but 
the price keeps going up. So this here, honestly guys, is my top recommendation for the average consumer if you're looking at ultra short throw. The Salamander Designs cabinet, with the Chicago finish is what I'm rocking. They also have a white finish, which is uh, their Miami finish. And then they have another black finish with glass doors, which is called the Oslo finish for this unit. But they're all very stunning. They have built-in ventilation to keep the equipment all nice and cool. You can put the rest of your AV gear in there and it keeps the fingers away from the projector. My kiddo at first was trying to play with it. And then once I got it into the cabinet, it was kind of just like, he didn't even care about it. it, it disappeared. I would highly recommend you talk with our specialist about the cabinet because it makes a world of difference. It also keeps the unit from getting bumped because the cabinet's really heavy and the projector isn't. If it's just sitting on top of a table, it can easily be bumped and then it moves the picture off of the screen, which can be really frustrating. Whereas in this cabinet, you don't have to worry about it at all. Another great feature that I really like about the Epson LS800 is the automatic detection of if there's anything in front of the laser. This means a lot to me as a parent because I don't want my two-year-old to get in front of it and blind himself. So whenever you move your hand in front of it or if anything gets in front of that laser, it'll turn off so that again, you know, nobody gets blinded. Really cool feature built in. And then you combine all of that with their minimalistic, super new, clean design that they put on this unit. And then you throw it in the Salamander design cabinet you can't even tell that it's there I mean I had my builder that built this home come into the house and he was like wow that's a huge TV and I was like uh, uh this is a projector system and he was like oh I've heard about ultra short throw and I was like yeah this is that brand new LS 800 and he had no idea at first that this was a projection system which is the whole point you want it to look like a TV on the wall so the salamander designs cabinet the LS 800 and the silver flex screen is it's a home run I mean it really performs well and I couldn't be more happy with it the Epson LS 800 only sits with my current setup at six and a half inches off of the screen this is incredibly impressive guys one of the biggest problems that we have with ultra short throw and why so many manufacturers need the motorized cabinets that come out is because of the throw distance off of the wall this isn't just a short throw this is a ultra ultra short throw projector. And that's been the biggest complaint over the last couple of years is the distance from the wall because nobody wants to walk by from a side angle and see all of the wires behind the entertainment console. So with this new LS800, they really checked all the boxes. We're sitting at a total of six and a half inches off the screen or seven and a half inches from the wall to the back of the projector. All right guys, well that's kind of a quick little rundown of my thoughts on the unit. I'm super impressed, guys. It sits crazy close to the wall. It's crazy bright and vibrant, and it produces a beautiful image for eShift 4K in this price point. If you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, or if you're on the fence between all the different manufacturers out there and maybe you're considering purchasing this product, of course you can just head to shopdreammedia.com, add it to your cart, and we'll get it shipped out right away. But also, if you would like to talk with a specialist, we offer free video consultations where we can FaceTime with you and walk through your space. And then my specialist will tailor a package to fit your exact needs and budget. We wanna make sure that we're getting you the best performance for your money here at Dream Media. So don't hesitate to reach out. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Also, keep in mind that we have a preferred installer network in over 28 different states if you don't want to put it in yourself. Although this is a very very DIY friendly product. All right guys, well that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach at Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.